Well, hello to ya. No idea why I just said that like that. Thanks for coming back to the Pipe Squatch channel. Got my own mess pipe still. Going to town on this sucker. And using in it what I reviewed in it. Or what I used in it when I reviewed the pipe. Mississippi River. Yeah, I know. Seattle Pipe Club. <clears throat> they used to have a different formulation. You know, supply demand issues. They couldn't get the same formulation. I don't know what it is. But there's this thing out there that the original version of Mississippi River was so much better. Now, I've never tried the original version. So you're gonna get my review based off of me only knowing this version, the new version. It's a brand new tin from uh, smokingpipes.com is where I got it. And so far, so good. <clears throat> I'm already smoking it. So there's no need to show you a char light again. I'll just tell you about it. The char light initially, initially I'll be honest, the draw from this pipe was what I experienced a little bit better than the actual flavor of the, the tobacco. I really didn't taste much at all. It's, it's good, but there's not a whole boom of flavor on the Charlotte. So I let it cool down a little while. And um, went from there. I'm actually gonna let that cool down a minute even though I've been going to town on it, and tell you a little bit more about Seattle Pipe Club's Mississippi River. Mississippi River actually appeared to master blender Joe, Joe Langford in a dream. He awakened from his sound sleep, and he grabbed a pencil and scribbled the recipe down before his memory faded. I have come up with the best ideas, laying in bed, about to fall asleep, and I'm like, oh my God, that's an amazing idea. And I forgot to write it down. So what I've started doing is either putting it in the notes of my phone or leaving a notepad on my bedside table to come up with ideas. A lot of the video ideas I come up with, boom, I'm falling asleep. Oh, that's a good idea. If I don't write it down, I'll forget it. And then I don't make videos and I don't write stuff and I don't come up with anything. The next morning he used those notes to create a Virginia blend night no other. Mississippi River was born. The rest is history in a tin. Enjoy the rich Virginias pressed in cakes with oriental leaf, a pinch of Latakia and Perique, crafting the most sought after small batch blends in America since 2007. This stuff is pretty dang good. I will have to say, I don't know, like I said, the old one, what it was like. One thing I wanna show you that's really cool about this are the flakes. So I'm just gonna do a little one because I don't wanna waste it. But you just barely do this. You don't even have to rub it hard. And it just crumbles into ready to smoke awesomeness. That's amazing. And when I say ready to smoke, you see this stuff and you're like, ooh, ugh, that's gonna have to dry out a little bit. But me being Mr. Impatient Eager Beaver, I want to smoke it. So I went straight to it. The char light, the smoke, and it's really, really good. So I read this part about it being a Virginia, pressed Virginia with oriental leaf, Latakia, and Perique. I'm thinking, well, that's not going to taste like any Virginia I've ever had. And it doesn't. But if you think about it and you search for it, it definitely does take it's like a Virginia. Just not like any one I've ever had. The flavor on this is so complex. That's the best way I could put it. Good complex. You get that Virginia flavor, but then you get this little bitty hint of Latakia. You don't even taste that campfire smell, but you can tell it's there. it kind of lends to that smoothness. The perique is very light. There's just this touch of pepper in there. And what I'm assuming that other taste is, which is kind of like a tang, tangy? Not tang like the orange stuff the astronauts drink, but like a tangy uh, bite to it is the orientals, I'm assuming. I didn't try orientals in my experiment, so I'm not real sure. Well, I'm assuming that's what that is. But it, it is a Virginia. That's the weird thing. You would think it doesn't taste much like a Virginia, but it does. It kind of tastes a little bit like that capstan. 
I reviewed the really aged one with that Latakia, the Perique, and everything else. So I'm gonna get this down to about a quarter of the bowl left and tell you if it changed or not. Okay. So I am about, there's probably a quarter left in here. Maybe a third. And the flavor has been consistent. The balance of it is very similar to um, at Esoterica. How, I mean, this is not a, a really rich English like the Pembroke, but it has that consistent balance through the whole bowl. Some tobaccos, and this isn't a bad thing, I enjoy it in some of them. Some of them will change flavoring throughout the bowl. And some of them, they nail the good flavor right out the bat and it just tastes the same the whole way through. This is one of those. It's, it's been consistent and the same through the whole pipe. Seattle Pipe Club, Mississippi River. Would I recommend you getting it? Eh, yeah. Is it gonna be in my regular rotation? Hmm. My regular rotation typically doesn't have Virginias. Occasionally I'll smoke them, of course when I do a review. I like the English better, I just like that smoke flavor. But, out of all the Virginias I like and I smoke, I will smoke this one more than those. So the Mississippi River will go in there. Most of my regular stuff is English and only a couple aromatics. But, I like this stuff, man. It's very different, it is incredibly different. Incredibly smooth. I've tried to get it to bite. I've tried to smoke it hot. It doesn't really bite that bad. Maybe just a little. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, keep your pipes loaded. Slow down. Whoa, Matthew McConaughey. Slow down. Philosophize and enjoy your life. See you guys.